the video seterusnya. So uh, for for today uh, session, we going to discuss uh, how to select a research topic. Uh, for our class uh, research methodology. So for this week, we need to look into a technique or the process how to select a research topic. Okay, because there are a lot of topic out there. So how we are going to choose or select the best research topic for your search. Okay, so uh, as we all know, the, the ability of, to develop a good research uh, topic is to, is an important skill, okay? The supervisors and industry industry may assign you a specific topic, but most often they require you to select your own topic of interest. Okay, when deciding a topic, there are a few things that you will need to do. So the topic can be uh, okay, multiple. Okay, so you, you have to brainstorm what type of topic that is very important for you and suitable for your project. And uh, the first step, uh, okay, because before we identify the good topic for your research, there are a few process that you need to uh, do uh, for each step, okay? So the first step, you need to understand the requirement, okay? What is the requirement of your project, okay? Uh, for example here, uh, what are the needs for your research, okay? Why we need to know that, that to understand uh, this requirement, uh, step uh, during the requirement step you need to understand your research requirement uh, uh they think you can do or not that research okay if capable or not and how long is your research need to be conducted and lastly can you find a sources of the research at work okay this is requirement okay and uh, step two is about interest you need to choose the topic that you are interested in, okay? Because the interest, okay, of the process, uh, uh, the, the step interest, you need to identify the interest, okay, of your process so that you can do a better job okay, for your research. Okay, choose the topic that you are interested in, use the following question to help you to generate a new idea. Okay, as I share with you, my technique, uh, we are using this uh, research ideation canvas, whereby the first one is you have to think or to ask yourself about what are uh, you interested in. Right? Normally, you will be interested in your area of study or area of expertise. Okay, what issue personally affect you? So what type of issue that you identify eh, before you want to conduct that research or the, the idea or the issue that trigger your research interest. Okay, and the third part, okay, the third question they need to ask yourself is what, what is the current issue, okay, in your field of study? So you need to know the issue, huh? the related issue or the current issue, okay, not issue that we happened last 20 years. Huh? We need to the, the latest issue or the current issue so that they can create your interest, okay, when you do a research, okay. Step three. Okay, when you identify already the, the scope, okay, the issue, you need to narrow down the topic. Okay, narrow down, that means you have to uh, focus more on specific topic, not a broad topic, but a specific topic yeah, in your research uh, scope. Okay, how are we going to do this? Huh? We need to do this. You need to read a general article, okay, uh, on the top two or three topics that you are considered. So that's why, uh, I always advise my student to find three okay, top topic. I mean the generic topic before you narrow down the topic into specific research work, okay, research area. And reading a broad summary enable you to get an overview about the topic and see how your idea can relate to be broad or narrower and to be related specific to that particular issue. Okay, we always ask about Five questions, okay, uh, when we read uh, literature or you read the overview about the topic, okay, before you go uh, narrow down of your topic. The first one is about who, okay, who. The second one is what, okay, the third one is where, why, and how, okay. Who, it shows that you need to be specific, a population, okay, a group of people or organization to focus. Who are the subject? Okay, what are the subject in your research? 
it must be specific. Yeah? Either subject is a uh, uh, government um, servant so, or industry. Okay, specific industry. For example, the population of the research is focused on the community of practice in digital technology. For example. Okay, community of practice in teaching and learning. Community of practice in telecommunication. Okay, so this is talked about who. So that the one aspect of narrowing down the topic. Focus on who, who are the target specific for your particular research. Number two is what? Okay, what are the main issue that affected the issue? What is the fundamental issue or main issue that affecting another issue? Okay, the subject matter of the topic. Okay, in the study. And the third one is a where. Okay, where is mean a regional? As I said, uh, some of the research they have a limitation of scope either local or international, or maybe a specific uh, area uh, in region or country. And the third, the fourth one is what is the cause of the issue? What is the uh, reason okay, behind the issue? Okay? Because you need to answer the big why. The big why, why? Okay, that research will be very, very, very important. Okay, in the context of the issue. Okay, either uh, we need to solve the problem or we need to uh, introduce a new practice, but focus on why, the big why. Why, at the first place, you want to conduct the research and why you need to narrow down to that specific topic. In the end. And the last one is about how. How do the research or issue impact the individual environment or the government? So this is one of the examples. Huh? Uh, how it can be brought? Huh? But at your level, at master degree level, uh, you have to go deep into this particular uh, item. Okay, who, what, where, why, and how? When you want to narrow down the topic of your research of your study. Okay, and. Uh, Maybe you can check some uh, some of the literature from uh, uh, Google Scholar, the one of the search engine. You can search for the specific topic, okay? Uh, from uh, generic to specific topic, you can search, okay? Uh, using search engine, and now you can also search using the AI tools, okay? So there are a lot of AI tools out there. One of the them is the Chat GPT, you can use all this chat GPT. At least you can get some idea, okay, to trigger what is the best idea and the current issue for your research work. Because uh, when we do research, we need to focus on the current issue that issues that haven't been solved by other researchers. And maybe you can use uh, a few types of keywords eh, that to trigger the research idea and the area of topic. And you also can search for article that relevant to your topic. Then you can try. Eh? You can try your Google search or you can also try a chat GPT search or any other uh, AI tools that can help you to find the right topic and the hot topic that be focused or critical for today's uh, situation, today's environment. Okay, also, of course, you can search in book. Okay, you can search at any book or news, or portal, and everything, any source that reliable, consistent, and accurate. Okay, so don't look for uh, any reference that don't have credibility. Okay, find sources that very credible so that you can refer as an accurate reference for your research book. And uh, maybe some of you uh, have a question. How do you find the article? Because some of them are still learning uh, uh, when they do a research on so on. OK, please uh, avoid. OK, at least avoid lah, to use this, uh, you know, some of these uh, you know, article from uh, blog. 
Okay, blog because they more on opinion. Uh, when, you write, when you read the blog, okay, the writing, the article, most of them are from the perspective or personal perspective uh, blog. Okay, there, there are some of the blog that highlight uh, very technical, very theoretical and, and reliable uh, information. But most of the blog, mostly you express your feeling more on the ideas and so on. And also try to avoid unreliable website that means the website are not have credential huh? so not an official website you know, because website anyone can create a website but we want to make sure the website that you refer focus to the website that have credibility okay and uh, because these are information you want of the reference for your research work later on so please 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 find the re reliable and uh, highly, um, you know, accurate information okay, from reputable uh, website or uh, any digital resources. And the step number four is frame the topic. Okay, when you have enough information, enough resources, you need to frame the topic. Okay? The topic will be broad, too broad. Okay. Have you see a frame of the if you use a frame okay to display the artwork or display the picture or the portrait uh, okay compared to without a frame okay that's why you need to have a framing for the topic so that you can scope your research okay in a very specific you know, nature and very specific topic so that you can focus more on that particular uh, research uh, scope Okay, uh, normally when we want to frame a topic, we focus on three things. The first one is what to study. What what to study? Okay. Second one among uh, who to study. Okay, study about what and about where. Yeah? Maybe the location and the specific scope. So this is the, the way that the, the item that we need to ask ourselves when we conduct a framing to the topic. Yes. Okay. And this is an example, okay, when you want to apply this four step, okay, when you want to choose the right topic for your study, for example, you have some raw idea. As I said in my research ideation canvas, at nano topic, a nano idea, okay, they have three, three items. It's quite similar, quite similar, but this item. For example, this, if you see this example, we talk about a traditional healing practice. So this is the main issue of the study, the main area of the study. Okay. Among women in Malaysia, this means the keyword in this particular shows that this is what are the item, what are the issue, what are the topic that you want to study. It's focused on traditional healing practices. Okay. Practices on what? On women in Kelantan. You have specified the scope. Okay, will be among the women. Maybe the subject of traditional healing and be focused on that uh, locality, which is Kelantan. And the second part to look into a uh, three things also. Okay, as I said, nano idea they have three items. Okay, the topic. Okay, uh, the subject matter. What what is the scope and where is the location? So this is a very basic uh, basic research research, but when we look more on uh, advanced research, there are some other things that you need to consider. But at must at degree level, this is a good enough. Okay. For example, the second example, uh, an animated infographic of um, unemployment solution for graduate in Malaysia. So can you identify what is the study? The study we focus on unemployment solution, and it's about what? It's about who? Who are really related to this particular study which is a graduate and where is the study will be carried on of course in, in Malaysia so this is still a topic that mainly focus on locality and it's suitable for a case study so normally at degree level we use a case study is good enough and the last example I want to show you in this uh, session uh, the application of monochrome colors in Malaysia, Batik uses Pranakan Chinese motif on ready-made garment. Okay, so from this you can 
at least uh, identify the three items that really important to be highlighted in the topic. Okay. Uh, for the last example, you can see the application. A monochrome color is the thing that you want to study. Okay. Among who to study is what? Okay. It's about Malaysia Bate. It's about locality, the school, the, the region where you want to do the study and who, who are related direct to that, this particular study is about the Pranakan Chinese motif. Uh, who, the, who here is not mean only people. Uh, who that's mean the subject matter of the study, okay, in specific uh, no, uh, nature, uh, the, the narrow topic, okay, from the study. So, so I think um, this is uh, good enough for you all to understand and maybe you can refer to uh, my previous slide, my pre pre previous uh, presentation on research ideation canvas. Remember, at nano level, this is where we craft this topic. Okay, you can use this uh, nano idea concept in research uh, ideation campus to identify and to develop. Okay, the good and effective topic for your research proposal. I think that's a good enough for this session. Maybe we can see you. I can see you again in next video. Then uh, I wish you good luck and all the best. Assalamualaikum and a very good day.